What's up, guys? Welcome back to Barf Life Report. Today we are doing our February book review, uh, and I picked something that is really near and dear to my heart. It is near and dear to my heart, not because I worked at the bar that this book comes from or even knew the owner. I actually never met him, but I am embedded in the style of uh, this particular type of bartending. So I worked at Kohl's, and behind Kohl's is the varnish. Uh, inside Kohl's, in the back, is the varnish, and varnish was uh, owned by, uh, well, it was first opened and owned by Sasha Petrosky. Um, and then uh, Eric Alpern, who's a Little Branch bartender uh, that came out to LA to open it, uh, along with Sed Moses, who's the big owner of uh, Pouring With Heart, which is the parent company. Uh, when I first started at Kohl's, which I've been at for nine years, this is the style of um, bartending that I was first introduced to and mentored in. And honestly, I think that this book is really important because this is the style that everyone should really emulate and try to learn from because it is the most uh it is the most simple direct type of kind of drink creation that really stresses not only simplicity but execution uh and 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 being really really precise with your measurements and really thinking about your cocktails when you create them you know uh, a lot there are a lot of um uh quotes in this book from people who had worked with Sasha and worked through recipes with him. And uh, and they really kind of stress how much they would kind of go through with him a hundred different versions of one cocktail just to make it the best that it could possibly be before Sasha tasted it, approved it, and put it on a menu. I went on off on a little tangent there um, just because I wanted to stress how important this is. But before we go into the actual review, I want you guys to do me a favor. Uh, if you can, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, subscribing on this channel is really important because we are new and we are trying to grow it fast. I really have a lot of ambitious stuff in this channel. Uh, we a lot of there are a couple of people that actually commented about why we split our channel in two, and we just noticed that some of the more experimental content that we were using was it really wasn't getting um, the views that we would have liked to have gotten it, and we wanted to give it its best opportunity to find its own audience. So hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications um, if you want to be notified. If you don't. That's okay. Uh, and after you see this brilliant work of genius, please comment below. Even if it's a mean comment, I don't mind because the algorithm like that, likes that and it helps us out. If everything, everything, did I hit the, the four pillars of YouTube? Algorithm? What was it? The four pillars of YouTube uh, algorithm success or whatever the hell we were calling it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's uh, this brilliant stroke of genius or whatever? What did you say? Uh, I said, I said work? after you see this brilliant work of genius is the, I, I meant are the you video. Refer, yeah are you referring to the video or the <coughs> i guess the, the video i'm yeah i don't know i coughed I'm, so here's another thing i i coughed i should have coughed into my elbow like i tell my kids but i actually coughed into my hand but i am at home that is very um, important now that the coronavirus is yes over. the coronavirus is uh has landed in la two people but they were quarantined in lax before they got out into the population there hasn't been any cases so guys, everybody, before you kind of become a statistic, wash your hands. I've been washing my hands every three minutes and I still uh, I still am not feeling very well. Uh, we have to shoot though because Marius decides that he needs to go on a trip every two months. And every two months we have this one thing where you just have to go through video after video after video to get them out so that when he's gone, traipsing around Africa on safari without me, without me, right? we have videos that are uploaded and don't have all of the numerous mistakes that uh, people then catch and email us about. All right, let's get into the actual book, shall we? Shall we, Maria? Shall yes. we get into the book? All right, regarding cocktails, written by Sasha Petrosky and uh, the late Sasha Petrosky um, and, and his wife, uh, Georgette Moger Petrosky. Uh, Georgette Moger Petrosky is a spirits writer in her own right. And when Sasha Petrosky pa passed away in 2015, he left this book uh, unfinished, uh, sadly. Uh, so Georgette uh, decided to take it upon herself, get all of his friends together and all the worker, all the co-workers that he had and all the different people that had meant something uh, to him and who he had meant something to and finish this book. And so it is a very, very, very special uh, book. I, in my I-M-H-O, which I know what that means now before I was like, I didn't know. What is I-M-H-O? It's in my humble opinion. Oh, you didn't know that? I-M-H-O, yeah, I didn't know that. I always have to look these up because I'm not a millennial and I don't know these things. I'm Generation X. I'm like becoming, you know, you know how people like are like, oh, 
stupid boomers. They're going to be talking about us pretty soon. Though. Right. Although okay, I think you boomer. are a millennial, right? You're no, like... I, no, 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 no. No? No. Really? I'm still your generation. Really? Wow. Millennials start at 84. Millennials start in 82, uh, actually. I keep hearing 84, but yeah, you keep 84. hearing that or did you look it up and research it? Because I looked it up. I looked because it up I had too. an argument about this with Anika. Uh, so 1982 is what is the... So what are you, like 1980? 80. Oh, 80. Yeah, just like my brother. Um, all right. We just keep on going on these like little asides that people do like, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so what is it about this book that is so amazing? Why don't we open up the book and look inside to see what is so amazing about it? So the first thing that you are going to see uh, in this book is the table of contents. And what I really like about this is that it breaks down cocktails into their, um, into their uh, kind of root cocktail. So as we know from the Death and Company guys and Cocktail Codex, okay, we know that there are basically templates for cocktails and every single cocktail that is created is basically based on one of these templates. There's really nothing new that you can do. The lucky part about that is when you're using ingredients, there are a multitude of ingredients and stuff that we're, and, and, and also techniques that we're developing so you can take these uh, different templates and you can uh, create new things based on them. Uh, but this is something that Milk and Honey sort of taught. And this is something that was taught to me when I was a very young bartender is that you have to know your templates. So this book is breaking, broken down into cocktails that were created at Milk and Honey by Milk and Honey bartenders, whether it's Sasha Petrosky himself or some of the other bartenders that went on to become legendary bartenders and bar owners in their own right. Um, it's broken down by category. And then you have like a bunch of cocktails in this. I think there's 75 cocktails in this book. So you've got the old fashioned, the martini, the Manhattan, the sour, the highball, the fix, and then punches, flips, uh, dessert and temperance, what they call temperance cocktails, which I love that term. And somebody else that commented loves that term too. Temperance cocktail meaning something that is uh, non-alcoholic and uh, used for... Um, designated drivers because the thing is is that that is a very big thing now these temperance cocktails they are uh people who uh don't drink should be able to go to the bar and have a nice time socially and have something that tastes great and isn't just coke or something right marius you like those Shoot. yeah you like, I like drinks, coke right? though yeah you like coke but i mean you're not a, you're also the wrong person to ask because you're <laughs> not very adventurous you're like a very regimented like this is how i like my thing kind of guy would that be fair to say yeah. No, it depends. You're not like, ooh, that looks wild and adventurous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna taste that. I'm gonna. No, I'll, the bartender I'll, I'll to taste make. Hey, make, bartender, make me something crazy. That's not stuff that you say very often. No, right? but I don't go to the bars very often anyway. Okay, well, let's you, get let's we'll let's go get going. You. So the other thing that I love about this book is that it has a legend. All right, that you can see. And the, and then it also has this, let me see if I can find it in the actual book. Oh, I put it aside, actually. I, put it, I don't know why I put it over there. But it also has this, um, this basically a bookmark, you know, that can uh, sort of get attached into this little guy that keeps your pages, uh, that has, uh, you know, kind of a quick reference guide for the legend itself. Now, this legend is basically how the cocktails are represented in the book. It does not have photographs, and it doesn't have, like, really detailed drawings. It has these very nice... Art Deco style drawings that look like this. Now, these drawings are not very helpful when looking at a cocktail and seeing like how it's supposed to be, especially because like the, you know, I, I'm assuming, I don't know this to be true, but I'm assuming that uh, each one in there kind of at a level is maybe the way in which you would build it in your tin before you shake it or before you stir it. Uh, or build it in your mixing glass. Uh, and they're not very helpful. They are beautiful. And I will say that they are very reminiscent of the style that Petrovsky sort of put forward. See, the thing about speakeasies is that every speakeasy that came after um, Milk and Honey, much like a lot of movies that came after Reservoir Dogs, try to copy the same thing, but the intention behind it is a little bit false, and so it doesn't ring true. The thing about Petrovsky that I have taken from him, and this is coming from a person that only knows him by reputation. I know some people who have known him and it's what I gathered. I've never met this man in my life, but just from what I've seen and the videos that exist of him is a guy that actually was this very sort of 1920s aesthetic guy, like naturally, like that's how he was naturally. Um, and this book really represents that. So it's a good representation of his personality. The other thing that I love about this is that in the back of the book, there are, or throughout the book, really, there are, um, there are these articles written by his friends 
uh, and by himself, a little bit by himself. And, and they are on interesting and very, and very uh, Im- interesting and surprising topics, right? Like first, regarding the milk and honey house rules, house rules that milk and honey posted on the door is something that a bar hadn't actually really done. And they popularized that house rules in the speakeasy. Um, they were the ones that did it first or regarding the home bar. And then there's basically these very personal essays about how Petrosky uh, did things uh, or what the intention behind some of the things that he did were or uh, how to do these or how to actually execute these things in sort of that milk and honey style and be successful at it. So like uh, regarding style, regarding travel, re- regarding charity, there's all these different and, and it's really awesome because it gives you a very, 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 very um, uh, sort of vivid view of who this man was. It is a very beautifully written book. Um, and uh, we should count our blessings that Georgette was able to finish this along with uh, all of the other Milk and Honey bartenders and barbacks and talk to everyone who Milk and Honey had sort of touched. Milk and Honey closed down as a business um, before the death of Sasha Petrosky, but he is someone that also did something that I have said a lot on the Educated Barfly channel as well, which I think is the most amazing thing, is that he was such a great mentor, all right, that he he mentored his bartenders and taught them his style and then put them in business into their own bars. And so as a result of that, we had the Milk and Honey, then Milk and Honey London. And then there was the Varnish that opened up in Los Angeles, Everlay that opened up in uh, Melbourne. I think it's in Melbourne, Australia. And then a bunch in New York, such as Dutch Kills, uh, which is Richard Bacado's uh, helmed bar, Attaboy and Attaboy Nashville. And so they basically took this template of cocktail service and creation and uh, tweaked the programs a little bit here and there and spread it all over the place. So now we are lucky enough to be able to go to those bars all over the country and in other parts of the world and experience this type of cocktail service. I mean, if that's not the most gushing review ever, and if that doesn't make you wanna just go out and buy this book, uh, I don't know what else to say because everybody who is interested in cocktails, everybody who is interested in pushing forth their cocktail creation and bar knowledge and cocktail knowledge absolutely has to read this book. It is a must, 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 must read. And I think that's it, Marius, unless I'm like not thinking of something. I think that's it. So uh, usually I have this really long spiel, but I don't really have such a long spiel because we are a pretty new channel. So I just want to reiterate, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon as well. We do a lot of good stuff on Patreon. And if you're on Patreon, not only do you get all the episodes ahead of time and without uh, commercials running inside the uh, in the video, but you also get every video from Barfly and Barfly Free, Free Pour in one place. And I haven't mentioned this yet. I'm announcing it now, although this has already been happening uh, as of the publishing of this video. Um, I'm going to do all of the week's Barfly videos on Sunday, and then I'm going to release them all at the same time on Patreon. So you get those three cocktails on those days. And then on Monday, I'll probably do the Barfly Free Pour ones, both of them. That's going to make Marius have to work a lot. Yeah, and, and but don't forget to watch them on YouTube too. So oh yeah, watch and definitely watch them on YouTube because if you are a patron, then you are interested in our success and we really need those views. So share them, push them forth, check out our Patreon. Uh, and uh, yeah, smash that like button. So just like that's uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I, is that like what the is that what the young kids are saying? Uh, just like Graham Stephan would say, smash that like button, right? Smash it, and then can we do? Can we like clang a lang that bell? Ring a ding ding dong. Ring a ding ring ding dong. Ring a ding 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 dong that bell. I don't know. That's some. What is that? That's that keep your heads ringing by M O P. I love that song. Uh, it's kind of an older rap song, but you should check it out. It's pretty good. And then, uh, I don't know, what else? Anything else? That's it, yeah. That's it. Affiliate right. link below and then buy the book. Oh yeah, affiliate link below. That's the other thing is we have an affiliate link with Amazon. So when you hit that affiliate link, we get a little cut of the money that you spend on the book. So if you're gonna buy this book on Amazon, anyone, anyway, not anyone, but anyway, hit that affiliate link so that we get a little kickback and that goes uh, a very long way to helping our show. All right, see you guys on another time. Now I'm getting the, the, the finger from Mary, so. <laughs>